George McRae here again. This is part three of three, hopefully the last. 2008 Ford 6.4 diesel. Look at the earlier videos and you see what went on. Um, after I got it started, I let it run to temperature. You still have to drain and flush this oil a couple times. But I had my concerns about the oil cooler and making sure that the valve lifters all pumped up properly. And in fact, I let it run for a half an hour before it stopped clicking and carrying on and kicking occasionally. And the also the if you see the oiling going on. Everything is, everything is oiling according to the way it's supposed to now. The oil is supposed to be pumped up from the lifters through the push tubes and then it follows the rocker down to where the, the little uh, contact point on the bridge is. And I let this thing run for a half an hour. I had two of them started delivering oil right away. And of course I did pre-lube everything. But it took a while, and one by one they all started delivering oil. But it was a little nerve-wracking for a while. Um, so now that we know that we've got oil coming through the lifters, and it's at least fresh oil, it's not clean yet, we're going to still change it a couple times. I also had concerns about the oil cooler efficiency. So my idea was to take my scanner, and monitor the engine oil temperature. So what I did was I got a little cheat sheet here on the side. And the way it works out, at 11.20 this morning, I had gotten it up to 172 degrees. It took a little while to build the oil temperature up. And then I started monitoring it. Five minutes later, it was a little a little hotter, 175, and then at 11.32 a.m. it was 179.7.49, then at 138 it was also 179.49, and, and then uh, six minutes later it was still the same temperature. Then I got in the truck and revved the engine at 2500 RPM to put some engine load. I had one of my guys watch it and when he called out 188.46 I let it idle back down. Six minutes later I was down to 179.49 and then it went all the way down to 177.75. That was six minutes later. So to me, that means the engine heated up the oil when I revved the engine up to 2500 RPM, but then it, within four minutes, three to four minutes, it dropped down to the temperature that I had been seeing consistently. And then six minutes later at 11.52 AM, it dropped down to 177.75 and it stayed there right straight through until 1300 well it would be 1 o'clock in the afternoon 1 o'clock uh, 106 and then at 1328 it went back up to 179.49 so apparently the desired temperature this engine wants to run with no load at idle seems to be about 179.49. It did run cooler for approximately 20 minutes, but my idea is that the engine oil cooler is probably working and, and, and dissipating the heat at least good enough for now so that we can put it back on the road with fresh oil and let them see how things go. Um, 
So short of taking it all apart and cleaning out the oil cooler, I'm going to say that the efficiency is, is probably within tolerance for, for the, this point. Um, it's kind of a neat way to, uh, to check your, your oil, oil cooler and the efficiency of the motor by following the, the temperature changes and of course with the scan tool it's, um, it's very very accurate. So I'm going to shut her down and drop the oil out of it, put a fresh filter in it and uh, then I'm going to put the cover back on, the valve cover and hopefully this thing is done and I won't have to make a fourth video. I hope this helps.